As we are every Tuesday, we are joined now by Dr. E.J. Raven from Freedom Chiropractic. Today, taking a look at how we choose our health care providers, something that has been talked about a lot even on the political scene right now as we get ready for election season 2008. Dr. Raven, thanks for coming in and talking with us today. Good morning. Uh, health care providers, something that... Uh, in my opinion, is something that most of us just take for granted. You, you walk into a new job yeah. or something like that and you accept whatever it is that is first offered you. Talk to me about the, maybe some of the dangers of, of just taking what you're given. Well, I think that uh, being a provider in the healthcare world, you see you know, stuff maybe a little different, but there's all kinds of options out there and it's very important as a consumer that you choose what fits you. Um, we don't default in many other areas of our life to just what's available. You know, you don't go to the mechanic next door just because. Typically, you try and get a mechanic that you like. You typically try and be a little more conscientious. The restaurant, you don't just, well, it was the closest restaurant. You right. say, what do I want? I'm going to go get what I want. I think that same idea applies in healthcare to finding a healthcare practitioner that fits you and works for you and helps you get what you want. Now, talk maybe a little bit about uh, how we would go about choosing that then, because as a consumer and, well, somebody who loves going to the restaurant, I know what kinds of foods I like and, and I know, um, you know, which friends of mine might like the same thing so I can call them and say hey you know have you, have you had any good Mexican lately or something like that uh, how does that relate to healthcare? well so the same idea referral is always better than the default phone book or default you know provider list in the little book and so ask say hey I'm looking for this does anybody have someone who's great in this particular area has anybody had a great experience with this and so I think you're always better off with referral because then you have at least an idea, but also recognize you've been referred to restaurants and they weren't that hot, right? That's true. So, same thing with healthcare providers. There's no, well, they are a doctor, well, they are a restaurant, you know, it's, a, it's not a given just because they've got some sort of degree. Make sure it fits you and make sure you like it. Um, don't just accept it. All right. Uh, I think it's also important that we talk about maybe how we go about these things. One of the reasons that maybe I don't like that particular restaurant that I went to that a friend recommended is because uh, he likes something spicier than I do or whatnot. But what I want at a given time can, can be different because I have that idea already set up in my head. I'm looking for X, Y, or Z. Is that the same kind of thing Definitely. that I want to look for in healthcare? You're wanting sushi, you head to the Mexican restaurant, probably going to be disappointed. <laughs> right. <laughs> same thing when it comes to choosing a provider or, uh, you know, the services, make sure that you know what you want and make sure that that is offered <laughs> where you go. So you go into a provider and say, look, for instance, uh, with the, some dental care with my, my little girl. Um, McKinley was having some trouble. One dentist did some work, ended up creating an issue that she didn't want that dentist touching her anymore and she's you know four and fl freaking out so they start recommending hey we need to do this this and this and this is what's gonna happen this is how we're gonna take care of your daughter I was not okay with their recommendations so I continued to look it took four different dentists to find the one that said you know what there is another option and here's what I think can happen and maybe that's a hair you know dentist not a huge deal but I didn't want what they were recommending and so I continued to look until I found what I was looking for. I continued to search for that right practitioner and I found them. Now what about those people who don't exactly know what they want? Uh, you, you get the booklet from your insurance company and it looks like every other booklet from yeah, every other insurance company. Yeah, they all have the same letters behind their name. Yeah, yeah, are there certain things that we need to be looking for or, or that you would recommend that people think about when having a medical plan in mind? So big thing is know what you want. Know what the end result is. Talk to the doctor and say, hey, can you provide this for me? Can you give this to me? If not, you, you want to look elsewhere, you know, and it's a possibility that you can't have that. But just make sure that you're not, and I say that, I, I think most of the times you can get what you want. You may have to look for a while, you may have to work for a while, but if you believe it's doable, it is doable. Um, and as far as the question is, when it comes to the healthcare provider, sit down and ask lots and lots of questions. It's not offensive in any way, shape, or form. If it is, I doubt they're the right provider for you if they get offended because you ask questions. And say, why this? And why do you recommend this? And what are the options? And what are the pros and cons? And what do you think about this? And have you ever heard of anything else? And if it were your child, or if you were in my shoes, what would you do and why? And, and get information because those ideas and that information provide you options. And then you're able to choose versus just default into, well, the doc said this and that's what I'm doing. Um, the problem with defaulting into whatever someone recommends is in the end, guess who's responsible? Guess who deals with the outcome? I do. It's not the doctor. If there's a problem, it's me that deals with it. If there's a good, there's me that deals with it. And so it's not about, well, you know, just trusting. It's about finding what fits and being a consumer. If you want a particular thing, get it. 
don't go to Mexican when you want sushi. You know what I mean? Go get what you want in healthcare. There's, there's no difference in my mind. One of the hurdles that I hear people express uh, from, from their point of view is how much time it can take because healthcare, I mean, it's it's all encompassing. It's, it's everything from just your, uh, your personal physician to your kids' doctors, like you were mentioning, all the way up to, okay, if I had a major accident, where am I going to be covered? Uh, at what hospitals and what kind of coverage am I going to have there? It takes a lot of time to do these kinds of things. What do you have to say to people who say, it's just too much time, I'm going to take what I'm given at work? <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough one, because I realize, I mean, we took our daughter to four dentists. That was a pain in the rear end. That's four, I don't know how much they charge. And all that bucks. time she's dealing with Yeah, her 70 mouth. bucks a visit yeah. for five minutes, and I'm like, what was that? You know, that was a waste of time. And so it is frustrating, it is hard. But I think what you do is recognize some things are not huge. You know, it's not a big deal. I can default into it. Other things really matter and you're really not okay with. And so those things you need to be willing to put up a little energy and a little fight for to get what you want. That if, you know, the big deals, I'd say it's worth the energy and effort and you get the outcome you want. And that's the, that's the big deal. Are you okay with, you know, chance, or do you want this absolute, and that's why you're going to work how you get it. Yeah, like you say, that, that's the fifth point, is, is to get those results that, that you, in particular, are looking for, and for people who uh, are, are maybe looking for uh, a, a different kind of result, uh, would you ever say that there is, I mean, is, is there ever a point where you just have to say, all right, I'm, I'm just going to take it because uh, that, that is what I have? Is there, is there a certain point where you get to in, in life when you have to do that? <laughs> You're asking me some tough questions. <laughs> I, I say no. Um, I say that there's wisdom and you want to listen and trust your body and say, you know, what feels right to me? Um, what, what do I feel is the best choice? And, and make choices that way. Maybe you don't want, I mean, I don't ever want to go to the dentist, but I go because, you know, the benefits. So it, it's a finding a balance. Um, there's a difference between just saying, well, I give up and do it, you know? I think that I say no versus, you know, I've weighed the options, weighed the risks, and I feel like this is my best course of action, even though I don't feel like I'm excited about it. I'm more prone to do that, Make makes sense. Um, it's just finding what fits you because it's your baby, it's your thing, it's your result, and it's about um, recognizing there's no guarantees. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this, but guess what? There's no guarantee in any one of the three and so it's okay to choose what fits you. Um, it's not your grandma's choice, it's not your doctor's choice, it's your choice with those you love around you that help you make those decisions. And sometimes the best action is no action. Earlier this week we had some of the girls from the Roxy Chicken Jam who were in here who said that, you know what, sometimes you just gotta wait until the end of the season. You gotta, you gotta wait it out and then make your decision when you've got a little bit more time on your hands to, to deal with. So maybe not a bad uh, little Correct. suggestion. Maybe it's not a pressing, and that's a quick, good question for your provider. What if I do nothing? Can I wait six months and see where I'm at? And I think that's a very appropriate thing. I tell people, in healthcare, there's this much loyalty. That's zero. Um, if they produce, if they fit, if they work for you, stick with them. If they don't, continue to look and find. All right, sounds good. Dr. E.J. Raven, if people would like to uh, pick your brain and ask you some questions that maybe they should be asking when looking for a new healthcare provider, where are you located? They can uh, catch us there at the office in New Park in the... Uh, right there in the kitty corner of the Basin Rec Center, and we have a new website debuting this morning, healthyparkcity.com. Nice. You can pick our brains there, and it's just kind of coming online, so it's not 100%, but it's beautiful, and we're happy with what's going on there, and I think it'll be a great resource. Very nice. Uh, so people can go there. Healthyparkcity.com, again, yep. is the website. Dr. E.J. Raven, thanks for coming in and chatting with us. Great to be here.